Let's start out by designing the UI. Go to starter GUI and create a screen GUI and then add a frame. We're gonna name this frame container. Scale the UI to whatever size you'd like and then go to border size pixel and set it to 10. Let's change the background transparency to 0.55. Next, we're gonna add another frame inside of the UI and we're gonna call this bar. Let's set the size to 1010. The first numbers in the size indicate the scale, which is a percentage of the element that the UI is within. 1010 means that we are gonna take up 100% of the size of the container we're in. Let's set the color of this bar to a green like this. Now let's add a text label and let's set the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5 and the position to 0 0.50, 0 0.50. This is gonna center it directly in the middle of our container. Then we'll set the background transparency to one and we'll set the font to Fredoka one. I'm gonna set the text to a white color and I'm gonna enable text scaled. Then I'm gonna add a UI stroke and I'll scale it up just a little bit. Let's name our text label, health label. Let's set the text to look like 100 out of 100 for when the player joins. Let's set the bar's position to something like 0.9 to have it in the bottom. Then we'll set the anchor point to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and set the X position to be 0.5 so it's centered. Now that our bar is designed, let's go to container and add a new local script. We're gonna start off by saying local bar equals script.parent.bar, and let's say local health label equals script.parent.health label. Let's also get the player, so local player equals game.players.local player. Now let's create a function called enable health bar that takes in the character as an argument. Let's begin by getting the character's humanoid. Because the player loads before the character, we need to use wait for child to guarantee that the humanoid is actually going to be there. Next, let's do humanoid.health changed connect function. And now this code will fire every time the humanoid's health is changed. So when they take damage or are healed. First, let's get the player's health. So we'll do local health equals humanoid dot health and let's get the max health of the player local max health equals humanoid dot max health now let's get the value that we're going to use as the size for the ui it's as easy as doing local value equals health divided by max health so if the user has one health out of 100 health this value is going to be 0 0.01 that's important because this bar will be set to take up only 0 0.01 of this entire container it's within so the x size will be 0 0.01 and see how small it gets it's only taking up one percent of the width let's create our size by doing local size equals udem2 dot from scale value one this is going to take up 100 percent of the y size and the value we get of the x size let's attach that inside of a tween we can do bar tween size and then we can put in our size an easing direction of in out and an easing style of Quint. If you guys wanna learn more about tween service, check out the tutorial in the card above. Finally, let's make this take only 0.3 seconds. Next up, let's change the text label that we saw. We're gonna do health label dot text equals health out of max health. These two dots are string concatenation. What this means is we're going to create a string composed of these three elements. So this would look like if the player had one health, it would look like one out of a hundred. So it puts this value into the string, then the slash, and then the max health. Let's make the bar change color based on the user's health. If value is greater than or equal to 0 0.5, so if they have more than half of their health or equal to, we'll do bar dot background color three equals color three dot from RGB and we'll use the existing color, 77, 255, zero. Otherwise, if the value is less than 0 0.5, and the value is greater than or equal to 0 0.1, then, so this is if they're between 50 and 10% health, we'll do bar dot background color three equals color three dot from RGB 255, 255, 25, which is a nice yellow color. Finally, if they have 10% or less health, let's make it red. So bar dot background color three equals color three dot from RGB 255, zero, zero. Now our health bar is working, but we need to enable it when the character is loaded. Let's do local character equals player dot character or player dot character added. Wait, what this does is if the player exists, we'll automatically get it. But if it doesn't, we will wait for the character to load and then set the value equal to the character that loads in. Using that, we can call enable health bar 
on character. To test it out, I'm gonna create a while wait one loop and I'm gonna damage the character every second. I'll do character dot humanoid dot health equals random dot new next integer one 100. Now when we go test, you'll see that every time I take damage, the health bar text, color, and size is changing as it should. In order for this health bar to work when the player dies, make sure screen GUI is set to reset on spawn. This will make all of the code inside stop running and run again when the player dies and respawns. We hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions, be sure to comment them. Don't forget to like and subscribe to never miss a new tutorial. Also, check out our live scripting Q&As where I answer any questions you have during a live stream. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.